Marketers. Welcome to today's video. Uh, make sure you visit podcastformarketers.com for more information. Over there, I have a really kick-ass course on how you can make at least a few grand a month on simple reoccurring revenue, right? And that's called Freedom Funnels. And make sure that you like this video and subscribe to my channel, man. I'm put out videos every day. So you don't wanna miss what I put up because I put out some pretty um, kick-ass content. And man, I always want you guys to comment below, man. I love, absolutely love all the comments you guys bring. Let me know what you're thinking. If you have any questions, I'm always in the comment section. I really love the community. Let's get into the video. All right, guys, so um, we're back again with some more like how to make money online. It's been a while since I've talked about this. Um, number one, comment below, man. You guys make sure you holler at me and let me know if you have any questions about something like this. Um, I miss talking to you guys. I had been doing tests like I've mentioned in previous videos, but the tests are over. So let me know. Comment below, man. Smash that motherfucking thumbs up, man. Break your mouse. If you like the video and if you like the com content, man, subscribe to the fucking channel. All right. So I had a question in my um, uh, Instagram and dude's like, man, I really want to make $10 a day. And I'm like, wow. All right. It's not that I'm saying that $10 is not even a goal. It's like, okay, so he has a goal and that's cool. But like, there's so many, wow, is like, there's so many different ways to make $10 a day. But I asked him if he had any money and he was like, well, um, I work three jobs and well, that means you have money, but then I guess he didn't have money. Then he says he goes to dialysis three times a week and he's in debt and all kind of like the whole like, um, country, Western country, uh, music fucking song, I guess his dog is dead and all kind of shit. Right. Wife left that kind of thing. So that's cool. So that means that he's broke. So at $10 a day, I told you guys about this before. I'm going to send you the text broker. Now, even if you don't, write very good and you have low quality you can still get uh seven cents a word or whatever 0. 0.7 cents a word whatever this is right and basically that if you wrote a thousand word article right you get seven bucks you can easily bust down two thousand word articles a day and there's fourteen dollars a day right but he also said that his goal was after at the end of the year he wanted to get $25 a day so I wanted to show you how you can proactively get at this um, number one is um, you download Grammarly on your phone um, my wife was just telling me about that um, and then go online and there's tons of free resources um, go on um, iTunes University and find out how to write simple shit and study for a couple of days and as you go along and make sure you use Grammarly, the free edition online, um, and try to um, start, don't try, start writing articles, but the, it'll help you with fix your grammar and your punctuation and all that shit. You don't have to be a good writer. That's why they have quality ratings here, but start looking up article, articles on how to do content writing and kind of get into it. You're going to start off at a garbage rating and then you'll go up, right? But let's just start you off at garbage because you probably are garbage. No, I'm just kidding. Your writing is though. Your writing is, yeah. Your writing is. All right. So, um, and then look here, you'll see that you can make, you know, $5 an article for a $700 article, right? So your goal is to, to make $10 a day, but I wouldn't do that. I would be making like 20 bucks a day and I'd be writing like, kick-ass articles all the time right because 10 bucks a day really isn't going to do it but let's just say that you made 15 bucks a day right you did extra you did some extra credit and your quality start going up a little bit and you made a little bit more money so what i would start doing is i went to ebay really quickly to kind of show you that anthony robbins right has like if you buy any of his older stuff is selling on ebay this is a 10 cd audio book set for $18.99, um, $3.99 for a PDF collection. Wow, right? $3.99 and it's sold, okay? So these are all sold stuff. This is a pre-owned edi edition of the Waken with the Giant Within for $5.99. Now, believe it or not, you'll probably get that for $0.25 cents from a garage sale. Uh, and my wife was like, make sure you go to middle-class neighborhoods 
because the poor neighborhoods aren't going to have anything in the rich neighborhoods. Something she said about that. I didn't get that. But um, basically go to middle class neighborhoods and the garage sales in the United States of America, which we'll get that to in a moment, and look for self-help books. But I looked up Tony Robbins just to show you that this should be your next step. Now, I also saw a garage sale that had um, stro baby strollers. I'm telling you now that those baby strollers are going to go. I got a homeboy, man. He found a baby stroller that Walmart had recalled. I can't remember which one it was, but any baby stroller with that name on it, you get 25 bucks for him. And he went on Craigslist looking for him and would turn him in all over the country, man. And he, that's like, his, that's his hustle. He gets like 10 a week <laughs> and turns him in. And he's making good money turning in old baby strollers. My point is, is that baby strollers, there's a market for those. So these were pretty good looking baby strollers, right? So what I did was I went and looked for garage sales in a middle-class neighborhood. And sure enough, this one has tons of pictures. And I liked that they showed the books, but they also showed other things that they had, right? Like a fish tank, okay, um, and other furniture that they had laying around. Um, and then you can kind of look, get a look at the garage sale to see what else they had going on and what else you might be able to sell. So, like, here's a vacuum cleaner right here, and you can kind of figure out what type of vacuum cleaner that is. I would definitely go on eBay and see how much vacuum cleaners are going for. You can see some ladders over here. I wouldn't get anything like that, but you can see this medicine ball right here. Are those going used? Um, and like I said, the baby strollers, I believe those are selling well. I, I would have to look and look at the data. Um, here's a motorcycle helmet. That'll definitely probably sell. And remember, these things are 25 cents, $1, dude. Go look and see now the reason why and the kitchen stuff i'm not so sure but i can tell you that these cds my wife were finding them for a dollar man and they were worth 30 bucks on amazon all right cds sell better than books they cost more money and they're not as heavy to pack up and they take a lot less space cds selling on amazon is good business right and so um, I also saw a bunch of like shoes on another auction or whatever, but I like that they have pictures here because you can start doing your research before you go. Right. And my wife said like, this one is on uh, Sunday and Saturday. She's like, if you don't go on Saturday, then just don't go. <laughs> That's what she said. Get there early and just go. So here's what you need to do. First, we're going to go on content uh, text broker here to create content. And we're going to write two to three articles a day and start making that 10 bucks. So there's your answer right there. If you thought it was going to be selling on Shopify, if you thought it was going to be anything like that, that's not your answer. Your answer is I want to get paid guaranteed 10 bucks a day. These people pay every Thursday. Here's your 10 bucks a day. But what I want you to do then is start doing your research. And here's what I did. I found a garage sale. Here's when it happens. Here's where it's going to be. Here's a link to the yard sale. And I'm interested because they had a lot of books. Go get yourself a Google sheet and start looking at these garage sales wherever you are, especially ones that have pictures, look in Craigslist and find out if they have baby strollers or books or anything of interest and then go to ebay and search for it and see look in the sold listings search for it and look in the sold i don't care that it's on ebay i need to know that it's selling on ebay right so like there's a lot of them that say here that were like 30 sold see we're here 32 uh 32 sold or whatever that's what you want to see like you know when, when a bunch of them were being sold, um, like this one only had one bid or whatever this is, um, but that's when you can look and say, okay, I know that this one had nine bids, so people really wanted this, right? So you can find other things, old like classic DVDs that sell for 25 cents that will go for two or three bucks, but your goal is to make 25 bucks a day, right? So you wanna find stuff that goes fast, but you're not even looking for a huge margin. I mean, like if you bought a book for 25 cents and sold it for five, 15 bucks, but remember, this is going to take a while to sell. This is not going to fly off the racks. So what I want you to do is go here, stack up your money and then start buying stuff that you know will sell on eBay. It'll go start buying stuff that you know will sell on eBay 
um, that have been selling or whatever, especially during Q4 right now, these make really good gifts. Um, find yourself some good sales copy. Look at other um, other people that are actually selling stuff like this. Copy their sales copy. You do want to put sales copy in there, not just like buy my stuff. Actually get the people interested in what you have. And start selling slowly on eBay. But remember, this is your base of your money. Don't spend more than you have. So if you make 20 bucks a day here, 15 bucks a day here, take five or 10 bucks and set it to the side and start hitting these garage sales, right? So let's say we hit the garage sale every weekend with about 40 or 50 bucks, get a little bit of stock and start throwing it up on eBay. Go back, start writing some more shit, go back to fucking start filling up your list of other things that you've been seeing, do your research on eBay and start slinging. Now, the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to start packaging up these books and sending them into Amazon since we got a little bit of money. Instead of trying to sell them on eBay, we're going to let them sit on Amazon. It's free to send the books into Amazon and let them sit there, but you didn't have any money for stickers. You didn't have any money for boxes. You didn't have any money for anything, but now you have money for boxes and stickers. You're going to sign up for Amazon FBA, and you're going to start sending in these used books into Amazon, and now you have a little money where you can wait to make sales. So there's your three steps. First, I'm going to start you here at Text Broker, making your 10 bucks a day, 15 bucks a day. Then I'm going to move you over to Amazon or to eBay because that's right now money. We're not doing no uh, FBA anything. The people purchase it and then you ship it once they've already paid for it. Once we get a little bit more money, we're going to move over to Amazon FBA and start selling used books and CDs. That's how you grow your business from nothing to something. And what I want you to do is remember, now I only did this a part ways, but I want you to write out these goals, put them in here and go proactively about how can I attack this goal? What I did was I said, how can I go from 10 bucks to 25 bucks a day? And you can't just say, I want to make that money. You want to figure out how can I do it in a realistic fashion? So, you know, I'm going to work here for, um, and just write it down. I'm going to work here for, you know, 40 days and make X amount of dollars. And I'm going to invest a certain amount of money into eBay articles. Once I make five or 600 bucks with that, then I'm going to take the money and reinvest and start sending stuff off to Amazon. And I'm going to keep writing every month and I'll make about 600 bucks a month doing that. I'll make another two or 300 bucks a, a month doing eBay and then Amazon will start trickling in and I'll probably do about another, I did a thousand bucks my first month, right? So let's just say you do half of what I did since let's just always like to go real conservative and let's just say you do 500 bucks a month on Amazon. So that's going to be somewhere around in a thousand dollars a month with all three of these things cranking out. Well, that's more than the money you asked me for. You only asked me for 25 bucks a day, so... There you have it, dude. <laughs> There's your money. Um, I wanted to show you guys um, what I've been doing here. So I've started a new website for everything to be clean for you guys. So we've got a cleaner blog for you. You can see here, it's not so jumbled around. Now, um, then we've got a better course area for you. I wanted to walk you through this. I'm gonna start linking this st stuff up now. So everything's really clean for everybody. But what's really cool is I actually have a nice little place for you to sign in now. And um, the actual like, this is Freedom Funnels. So for the guys that are already in my courses, you can see this is really awesome. <laughs> I've got everything lined up for you. Um, really clean now so you can come in here and see um, well it's just a lot better than what I have set up right now so this is what I've been up to and why I didn't post up any videos for like a couple of days last week I've been kind of slacking or whatever because I've really been working on getting you guys a new members area so that's what I've been up to um, and it's Really easy to come over here and kind of navigate now. And I hope you guys enjoy that. And give me some feedback once you go. I'll be throwing up all the links now so everybody can kind of check everything out. And if you have any feedback for me, if you find any bugs, I'd appreciate it if you let me know. Coffee break.